home. We got back from Glacier National Park and Banff. We were gone for 10 days and we spent eight of those what? days a sleeping in the car and living out of the car. So if you're interested to see how we fit everything in the car, um, at the end of the video I put like our tour of how we fit everything while we're sleeping. Um, Cause some nights we spent in a truck stop and some nights we had a campsite. Some nights we didn't know what we were gonna have. So we spent, we ended up spending eight nights like sleeping, living out of the car. And we had two days on the way home in hotels. This video we're gonna show you everything that we did in Glacier National Park. We only planned to spend two days in Glacier National Park because we needed to get to Banff and Glacier's closer to us. So we can always go back to Glacier. But we really wanted to have enough time in Banff National Park to do everything that we wanted to do. So our first day there we went to Lake McDonald and we set up our paddle boards that we bought specifically for this trip. And we did our first ever paddle boarding on our own paddle boards and it was amazing and there was no one else on the lake it was practically only us and did you guys have fun yeah yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome to, to glacier national park <laughs> to the hidden lake trail you hike the hidden lake trail and you walk through you hike through snow mm -hmm. and you get to see mountain goats and bighorn sheep and in you look over the valley and people said that they saw bears so if you go bring binoculars because we didn't bring binoculars and we wish we had
National Park, we um, wanted to see the waterfalls. So we took the drive up the Sun Road um, and to St. Mary's Waterfall hike. Uh, and then we also did the extended uh, hike to Vir Virgin Falls or Virginia, Virginia Falls. Yeah. Um, when you get to the first waterfall, it's like so blue and so gorgeous. Um, and then we didn't know if we were going to be able to make it to the next one because the kids were tired and um, they said, let's go do it. So we did and we made it to the second one. But between the first waterfall and the second waterfall, it's just water, like different waterfalls and river all the way up to the next one. And so it was beautiful. Part way into this hike, we realized that I was wearing flip flops and Declan was wearing flip flops. And Emery and Elena were wearing their like flimsy jelly shoes and Chase was the only one wearing like actual tennis shoes. So it made the hike a little more interesting. I never knew what love was until I held you. I never knew the right words until I found you. camping in our car, sleeping in the car with all five of us, me and Chase, and then our three kids are going to sleep, all five of us, in our Nissan Armada for 10 days. Um, so we had to get creative in organizing our car and our food and our, like, everything, our toys and all. So let me show you what we have. 
Okay, so in the front seat is our biggest source of um, storage. So we have the car seats every night when we're ready to go to bed and set up our beds. We have to move the car seats up here, and then this is all of our dry store, our, our dry food, and then we've had to put like bags of chips here. We have our one pan with our pocket rocket to hold the pan on top of the propane. Also, instead of packing our shoes in um, in our bags where it will take up a lot of space, we packed them in the doors so it's also easily like accessible, accessible. Um, like the little Declan and Emery shoes are here. And then we have all of the kids like entertainment, toys and stuff like that. We have um, an etched sketch and a bop it and we have play-doh and stuff that Emery will play for hours on these cookie sheets with. So this is where we put the queen blow-up mattress. When all the seats are down, it fits a queen blow-up mattress and all five of us sleep. Well, four of us sleep on the blow-up mattress here, and then Elena sleeps on this um, pack-and-play mattress on the passenger seat. It folds completely flat. These are, each of us got like a little bag about this size. This is Emery's. All of her stuff for 10 days is in here. And then when we're ready to go to bed at night, we just put it there. This is everything that's back here right now, pretty much, is all of our bedding, it's our blow-up mattress, all of our sheets and blankets and um, sleeping bags are right there. This, we also had to stick on both sides, both of these seats, we put food in underneath the seats. So it fits perfectly when this, when this seat gets folded down, all the food gets like is perfect down there and over here on the passenger side when we're sleeping the cooler will go right here if we can't leave it out in the campsite um let's see this the drone at night goes right here on top of here um and then we have all of our charging cables and extra lenses and gopro accessories and everything in here and we also pack like essentials and stuff in here, like my wallet, my makeup, flashlight, um, scissors. The kids, they get, these are their re rewards while we're on trips. This is my bag. This is the gimbal for the camera. That's pretty fragile. And then we have our waters here and we'll have like a few other things in here that aren't here now. I forgot to tell you guys, we have a bag up there. Um, that's where we keep our paddle boards, all our life jackets, um, the kids' life jackets. We have five camping chairs up there. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Remember to watch next week to see how our Banff portion of this trip went.